Hello and everyone. Today in this video, we'll learn about MT103 announcement misses. Now we have heard about this MT103 payment misses. What is this announcement misses now? Now MT103 announcement misses is used basically to send out the information from a ordering institution or the institution on behalf of the uh, ordering institution who takes the responsibility to make a transfer to the final beneficiary customer at which this uh, account with the institution they hold an account with. So now generally MT103 announcement messages are used to send in a cover payment method where in this MT103 announcement message becomes an underlying customer credit transfer payment wherein this message uh, for example in a message uh, bank A sends to bank B and bank B holds an account with this uh, uh, bank B has this account of the final beneficiary customer but they do not have this accounting relationship that's why uh, and they have this RMA relationship wherein they can send this MT103 message. So bank A sends out this MT103 announcement message to bank B and the fund will be settled, the amount will be settled via the cover messages. And that's how your MT103 announcement messages would be sent out. So till then the bank might not settle down the payment. They will just hold on the payment till the payment, till the amount they receive it. If you want to learn about this end-to-end -end process, how the payment is initiated, how the bank decides which payment methods to be selected, and uh, how what are the different payment validation that takes place, what are the account posting that takes place at the central bank side, and how does the messages get released from the central bank side, and what are the validation that takes place at the SWIFT level, what are the ACNAC validation, what are the ACNAC messages, and how those messages are sent out after the messages when the announcement messages are sent out to the receiver bank side, what happens after that, and then how the cover payment messages are sent out, right? So if you want to learn about that, you can definitely purchase our SWIFT payment course program wherein you learn about this SWIFT payment messages in depth, starting from basics to scra uh, from scratch to advanced level. You'll get to learn how to create the payment messages MT103 messages, MT202 messages, and a lot more. And in this example, as I have shown you, this uh, has this information of TAC 53A, 54A, right, which is your sender correspondent and receiver correspondent. Now, this announcement message gives the information to the final beneficiary account holding institution that this payment is a announcement message and the customer whom it needs to make a transfer is this one, but they'll just hold on and they will wait for the fund to be transferred, received from this fine, uh, receiver correspondent that is ABN Ambro US, right? So if you want to learn about this in depth, right? We have a, a, a diagrammatic, diagrammatic representation also, which if you want to learn about it, I'll go and explain. And I have already explained in, our, in my videos, which you can make purchase. Now, if you want to make a purchase, what you can do is, you can um, you can purchase it in just international rupees five thousand for our swift payment course which contains 20 hours of videos and a lot of example scenarios business scenarios are available over here on your mt103 as well almost 10 to 15 scenarios 15 to 20 scenarios are there for mt103 and then you have uh, now also MT2 category messages, MT1 categories, and, and MT9 categories messages. If you want to get to know about what are the different messages being covered in this course, you can drop me an email to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. Duration is 20 hours of the videos. You'll be granted the access to the videos and the access for this video should be for the lifelong. And uh, you'll also get an opportunity to interact with me on Sunday, 8.30 to 9.30. You'll be sent out a Zoom meeting link or a Microsoft Teams meeting link wherein you can ask your questions on this SWIFT payment course and not only with it limited to the course, but if you have other questions as well. And good news is that we have another program as well, which is ISO 2022. Now, as we know that the world is migrating into ISO 2022 program. So 
in the, this particular one, which is integrated course, which includes your Swift payment course of around 20 hours of videos and then ISO 2022, which is a 20 hours of videos. Altogether, around 38 to 40 hours of videos on the, both the courses, you will be getting it in just 12,000 international rupees. And for sure, this is going to help you in terms of cracking the interviews because it also covers your interview questions, which is generally being asked into the uh, by the organizations. And the opening is around the world, right? As I said, the world is migrating all the high value payment systems and the major player like Swift is migrating into ISO 2022 messaging. And if you know, if you have a good understanding on your Swift empty messaging, then all you'll be able to understand this ISO 2022 messages, which covers your fax messages, pain messages, and gas management messages. So a lot of informations are in there in our course videos. It is different than that of, our, that, uh, of the normal courses, which will, will get offered in different websites, right? Uh, those are just the basics, but here, if you will get to know the technicality, the business end flows, because I myself is a business consultant and I know what are the pain areas for the business consultant. And I recommend that you purchase this course and it will definitely help you to grow yourself in your payment domain. Just international rupees 12,000 for both the courses is a good deal. So drop me an email, swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and then I'll get back to you with the syllabus everything information how to make the payment and how you'll get the access and what are the support services and what are the converter tools which you'll be getting all those information you will be getting over here so all the best i'll see you next time